A recent iOS upgrade to 14.5 caused some problems with the SC2 firmware. In most cases, upgrading to the firmware 1.61, which is in beta right now, will resolve the problems. Firmware installation for the beta version requires you download a specific desktop application. If you have not already upgraded to iOS 14.5, Rico recommends that you do not do the upgrade. If you already did the upgrade, you will also need the desktop application, the basic app for the Mac OS or Windows. After you download the basic app for the Mac, drag and drop it into your applications folder. To ensure that the beta firmware updater can see your camera, plug the SC2 into your Mac with a USB cable. Open up the Photos app on your Mac and make sure they can see the Ricoh Theta SC2 that should be connected to the Mac. The firmware update folder needs to be on your Mac desktop. Extract the package, go into the folder with the specific firmware updater tool and double click on it. You may get a security warning and you'll have to accept the change security settings. You may also need to go into settings under the security and privacy under privacy and make sure that the terminal has the checkbox for removable volumes. At this point, you'll see a update notification. After a minute or so, it will say OK. Congratulations, you've completed the firmware upgrade process for the beta firmware. If you wish to verify the firmware version of the SC2, you can use the desktop application, select firmware update. It should say 1.61. Test with the iPhone running firmware 14.5. At this stage, you and your customers should be able to connect with not only the default Rico Theta official app, but also your own application. Please test your custom applications with the beta firmware yourself prior to distributing the beta firmware to your customers. In my test, the error, the NS URL error domain uh, error has um, gone away. If you are a business and you're still encountering problems, please post to the dot guide forum. Thank you.